I just want to make a quick video uh, on sketchy and false information going on in the gold and silver world. Um, the reason I'm making this video is that I recently came across two video, two or three videos, I'd say, where basically people were peddling some very fishy and misleading information, and I just felt like uh, I had to address that, you know, to preserve the integrity and credibility of YouTube community, I guess you'd call it. Um, and this, the reason I'm talk, and the two uh, YouTube YouTubers I'm going to talk to are Underdog Tahoe. And Brother John F. Now, I'll start with Brother John F. Because I'm generally a fan of his. I think he's made some fantastic videos before. I, I think he's brought some great information. But, I mean... Okay. Every time... Every, I've been looking at his videos recently. And every time there's a sell-off, he seems to be like... Or at least in this last one, for example, he says he was like talking about how he, he can't possibly explain like the sell off in silver, how it sold off a dollar, and he's like maybe it's the Chinese economic data, blah 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 blah, but it's just clearly banker manipulation. I'm like, of course it's the Chinese economic data. Look, if I was trading silver and I saw the data come out of China, of course I'm gonna sell my position. You know, and, and people who are in the market, the people who are all are the market capital, they know China like has all the demand for the for the commodities. They they demand the most. Of course, there's going to be a sell off in the commodities. I mean, and and to not call that for what it is and label that banker manipulation, it's so misleading and so inaccurate, and it just damages when some when any if you just like say. Any sell-off is just banker manipulation. It, it just shows such a lack of intellectual integrity, and, and it's just misleading. And you know, I, I'm I'm not just I'm not saying I'm dissing your channel or anything. I think you make great videos, but you gotta do a better job than that. You know, you just can't do stuff like that. You have to look at the markets objectively. And and the second is this Utah dog, whatever his name is, Underdog Tahoe. He just made this video here. I'll, I'll post in the link. U.S. loses triple triple A uh, loses AA plus rating. Okay, he's saying what this guy claims is that the U.S. has has like a, a rating below AA plus. Bull fucking shit. Bull fucking shit. First off, the only three rating agencies that matter in terms of actually moving the prices of things in the market are Moody's, Fitch, and S and P. That is Moody's, Fitch, and S&P. And he's claiming because stupid Egan Jones, who no one cares about. Nobody cares about Egan Jones. Nobody cares about these Chinese rate rating agencies that he talks about. And he's claiming just because these irrelevant people doubt, have downgraded the U.S.'s rating to like A or whatever, that that means that the U.S. is losing its AA plus rating. But anyone who's like talking about the market... You know, they're referring to the big three. So to say that the U.S. has a rating below AA+, for example, which honestly it does, the U.S.'s credit is not great, I'm not going to lie, but to just like use that and say this is proof that the U.S. credit, and to say and claim that the, the credit rating is below AA+, is just misleading. And, and it shows no intellectual and analytic integrity. And it's just a problem. And my, the reason I'm making this video is that when people just peddle smut like this, you know, it gives all, like, people who take markets seriously or people who actually might want to invest in silver not take you seriously because you're, you're, you're skewing facts and, and misleading people. And, and that's, why I'm call, that's why I'm calling these two people out today. I mean, I mean and, and honestly, the Apple bubble, John, the Apple bubble thing... I mean, come on. You think if there's QE3, it's not going to drive Apple to 800 or 900? I mean, just be realistic here. Priceline, I mean, Priceline's at 200. Chipotle's at 250 or 300. It doesn't matter. It's all about the debasement. I mean, you, you guys, just just do better. And, and you know, I, I would just, I just want people to be cautious about the information that they put out. I, I, I get very upset when I see, like, well, in my opinion, is low quality information that goes out because I feel like I'm represented by that, and, and I don't appreciate it. 
So, you know, I, I would just encourage you guys to have higher higher standards. Higher, higher standards in the information that you provide. Alright, and I don't expect this video to be popular. I, I certainly don't. But, you know, I, I just needed to make it. And, you know, those are my reasons. If you're going to dislike my video and not really listen to what I have to say, then that's on you. And I honestly think that you're being no better than a sheep. But that, that's all I have to say. Alright, that's it.